Am I the a for saying I won't kid swap over our Christmas holiday? I, 32 female, have a brother, Charles, 38 male, who has a girlfriend, Claire, 35 female. Claire has a daughter, Ruby, 8 female, who has additional needs. This will be relevant. And I have a daughter, Bia, 4. You got that? 8 and 4. We are all, along with mine and Charles' parents, going to be on a family holiday over Christmas. Claire was originally not bringing Ruby as she was meant to be staying with her father, but her dad is a flake and canceled, so Claire is now bringing her. For some context, Claire loves my daughter, which is great. She will volunteer to babysit her, which I don't necessarily need because I'm a stay-at-home mom and my mother is nearby for emergencies. And whenever we see her at events, she always wants to play with Bia. Bia loves her and it's nice to see. But it is noticeable how she will spend a whole afternoon fussing over Bia, even when me and my husband are perfectly capable of looking after her. But again, she's great with Bia, so we don't mind. A couple of days ago, Claire and I were texting about what to pack for the trip as I was lending her some clothes. During this, I sent her a picture of what I was packing for Bia to give her some idea of what Ruby would need. And Claire said she was really looking forward to seeing Bia. She then suggested for a couple of days during the holiday we do a quote-unquote kid swap, where we babysit each other's kids for the day. I was immediately not keen on this idea, as I've only met Ruby twice and I know nothing about her needs or how to properly take care of her. Also, I come on holiday to spend time with my kid, not farm her out to other people. I skirted around the issue, saying we could definitely do things together, but Claire kept pushing me to agree. She wanted her and Charles to take Bia for a day to go ice skating. This back and forth went on for a while before I finally said no. I'm not letting you borrow my child. You already have one. Claire said I was being unfair and that she deserves a break and to have an enjoyable holiday too. Mm. She then said she didn't want to borrow my clothes anymore and stopped texting me. Charles is now saying she's very hurt that I won't let her take B out and that Claire adores her. I said that's not the point. I'm not comfortable caring for Ruby on my own and frankly I find it a bit odd that Claire's idea of a break from parenting involves babysitting. Charles says I'm massively over dramatizing and that babysitting Ruby for a few hours doesn't need a degree and I should just help Claire out. Now I'm wondering if he's right. Am I the a -hole? She did say that she doesn't know the needs that Ruby, you know, needs. Yeah. I do see her side where like why would you give your child for someone else's child for a whole day? Yeah. That's a little strange. I feel like that's a lot strange. Yeah, <laughs> I that don't think is. you should give your kid to anybody. No. I wonder, and uh, maybe you guys can help us out here, but like, as, as parents, would parents be more inclined to do this? Like, what if your kid just sucks? Like, your kid is just bad, mm -hmm. right? But your homie, like, oh, I guess in this scenario, I have a kiddo, my kiddo sucks. Like, it's just a really bad kid, right? Um, but Heidi, your kid rocks, mm -hmm. dude. Mm -hmm. Like, your kid is dang amazing kid. So I'm like, man, like, when I spend time with that kid instead of my own kid, <laughs> would you be cool with swapping kids for a day? No, because I feel like I would want to know that my kid is safe at all times. Yeah. And regardless if my kid is... You know me. Is, you know good old Uncle good Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, let me borrow your kid. I would agree to like a double date, how she said. Let's yeah. go out. Let's all hang out. Let's all like spend some time together so you can have fun with my yeah. baby and I'll have fun with your kid. And yeah. um, like that, yes. But... I don't think I would trust someone else. No, but no. it's good old Uncle Oscar. <laughs> because anything can happen. Anything yeah. can happen. Like, my baby will, like, run out, run away. Like, you know, like, you're not yeah. there all the time. The only thing that I feel like is concerning is the special needs part. I think you definitely don't want to let someone take care of your kid that has special needs mm -hmm. when they don't know how to take care of And they're the kids. ones that want to swap. Yeah. The kid. Yeah. How would that little ruby feel yeah, when you grow ruby. old older and you know like my yeah. parents wanted to switch me for a day yeah. to have fun that's <laughs> that messed definitely up. would like uh be Scar. something that yeah scars her trauma right yeah there. outside of that though i think as a guy and as a future dad i feel like i would be cool with the whole swap well, idea you <laughs> yeah. want kids well i want yeah of course yeah. i want kids yeah Aww, how many? um uh, i want three three yeah uh -huh. um uh, but i think I don't know if it's a so you would be okay with me taking your baby. Not my baby, but you can take my kid. Like, like uh -huh. uh, my kid. baby, I'm not gonna let you borrow. Yeah. It, but, uh -huh. but if he's like six, you, yeah, you can chill. Mm -hmm. You can take him. I can take. Yeah, him. but I need a kid back. Yeah. <laughs> like, I need a kid in exchange. Yeah. Okay, so, I, I see how that could be okay. Yeah. Where, um, you can take him out, or I can take your kid out for yeah. like a day. I feel like it'd be fun. It'd be interesting. Like, uh, like. I could take him out, have some time, take him yeah. to the movies, take him out to eat, yeah. and then bring him back. Yeah. 
But the way they're saying it is strange. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) it's strange because they want to exchange kids and go out like that. Yeah. It wouldn't be like, oh, you take our child as well and we will go out and have fun. Because then that's like having like a date. The parents want to exchange kids Mm -hmm. and don't want to just say like, hey, take care of my kid as well. So we can have some alone time, some, you know, quality partner time. Yeah. They want to exchange someone for someone else and... I feel like I'd be cool with that too. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Right? How? Okay, let me see. Let me see this. Okay. Uh huh. I'm not a dad, so I don't know how much I would care for a kid yet. Obviously, right? Yeah. Um. Uh, probably. I'm probably speaking out of um. Like all. All theoretically, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't know the feelings of being a dad, and I don't. Know, I don't know the feelings of how much I'm going to care about this kid. Right. Okay. Uh huh. But, but you do have nieces and nephews. Yeah. You do have those, right? Yeah, I do have those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so you have feelings for them. You care yeah. for them. Um, I don't know how close you are to them, mm-hmm. but I have an, a nephew, right? And he's like the first nephew of the family. Yeah. So whenever we see him, I want to hold him. I want to okay. carry him. I buy him like cute little things. I'm not allowed to give him sugar or anything like that, but <laughs> nice. I do feel like I've do told do my sister. Key? Key I know, I, I'm the low-key. I'll like slip him like a finger full of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're doing that sugar finger? No, bro. <laughs> no. a spoon, spoon yeah, full dang. of sugar. Okay. Um, so I feel like I've told, you know, my sister like, hey, can I take him? Yeah. And like, you know, and she'll be like, no. She'll tell me no. She'll, she'll be like, no. Like she wants to like be aware that her child is safe at all yeah. times. Because he's very active, he still is a baby, so maybe that's why. Well, I'll why. tell you, yeah, it's probably the baby part, because I'll tell you this. Mm-hmm. You threw me a nephew niece story, I throw you a nephew niece okay. story, right? Okay, yeah. My sister, bruh, I can take a kid whenever I want. Yeah. <laughs> yo, I just come in, bruh, I'll, I'll check in, yo, they you got my kid old, in the back? They are older, right? <laughs> yeah, they're they, older. They're, they're, the youngest is, I think, eight now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're, they're all older you know mm-hmm. so like i can just come in take one you know I'm, i'll take it for the day mm-hmm. whatever uh, i got my ticket no i don't i don't Why? I, don't, I i just don't have time unfortunately you know oh. the reality of it is i was gonna but, say you don't like them <laughs> i know dude they're the cool oh i have done that actually yeah um yeah because um uh, my wifey she has also uh, a nephew and mm-hmm. nieces mm-hmm. and there was this one time <laughs> that I, I take my youngest uh niece and we had a play date and she took her niece, mm-hmm. and then we put them in the room together. Wasn't and that nice? It was okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know why I thought it was okay? Yeah. Because I feel like my fatherly instincts kicked in. Mm. And I didn't like how my, my niece <laughs> was being treated. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, but it wasn't bad. Like, none of it was bad at all. Uh-huh. I was just too overprotective in my head, to be honest. Because I was like, I want... I want you to be treated nicely. Yeah. But kids, kids obviously are like, Gonna I'm taking this rough. car. Yeah. yeah. And this is my car for the day. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that's how they are. Yeah. Though. Like, that, that's being kids. Honestly. Yeah, exactly. But I would say this, like, I think I want to believe uh, as a father, I would be down to trade my kid in. You <laughs> trade would? It. Yeah, I would, tra- I, would, I would trade it with my homie. If you if, knew your kid yeah. needed help has special needs oh no i wouldn't do that no right and that's what they're okay with they want to do that yeah the concept itself i think it's cool the fact that it's special needs makes it very not cool Mm -hmm. especially the whole like i i i I want to take your kid because i I want to break from my kid which Mm -hmm. is bad like you should never do it i think you should do it for fun but don't do it because you want quote unquote a break that's Mm -hmm. messed up yes yeah and it also seems that the kaylee girl wants the other kid a little bit more it does seem like that huh like she's really obsessed with the bia with Mm -hmm. the little girl yeah i feel like the whole situation is really bad i I honestly i think in this type of circumstance i would almost have a conversation with was it kayla the girl's name Mm -hmm. um i would have a conversation with her uh the the mom of ruby and be like hey like we need to talk because it seems like you're trying to live all these fantasies out through bia Mm -hmm. instead of your own daughter and i understand it's hard because your daughter obviously is different right and needs special care you shouldn't uh, neglect all the special moments you could have with Ruby mm-hmm. because you're trying to have them with Bia. Yeah, you know? th- they didn't say what needs she has, right? No, she didn't okay. specify. So it, it could be all it over the place, you like know? Yeah. Severe or like exactly. Mild. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would do that, and then because I I feel like to one extent or another, like kids know when they're yeah, they know. Yeah, they might not say it, but they know. They're aware. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So have that conversation with uh, Kayla. Is it? Or Kylie? 
whatever okay. and then, uh-huh. i don't know whatever <laughs> have a conversation with her because uh-huh. you can't she can't be living her life like that like that's not good like or if you want like a, another um uh, alternative to this whole thing maybe you kayla should go and talk to like a, some sort of therapy help to try to figure out what emotions she's feeling about this whole ruby situation mm-hmm. and um uh, uh, one thing that i would suggest is if you want to go ahead and quote-unquote take a break from um taking care of your kid or which they can have like another baby hopefully what? <laughs> <laughs> no, i don't like, think that's what? I know, it doesn't help the situation <laughs> but it seems like they want to have a baby who might not need special needs yeah or, but then i, I feel know. like that's also I, pretty messed i up. heard i heard that you don't fix problems by uh, having another baby or yeah. having a baby i feel like they would just have another baby and then be like well this neglect yeah neglect ruby, ruby. yeah yeah but okay yeah I don't she know. needs therapy <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah and or, or just find like a special needs babysitter too i think that was our thing right no but they want okay yes that would help them but yeah. it seems like she wants to have fun with another, oh, kid. another kid yeah yeah because the other baby doesn't have special needs i feel like this is kind of th- i don't know this happened often i wonder um uh, i wonder if like this also makes people go crazy does that like do you think she's gonna be obsessed with other kids i think it does happen it's just they don't talk about it <laughs> <laughs> okay um uh, overall i don't think you're the a for not letting your kid be taken by this person yeah um but yeah, ha- suggest these things, you know, therapy and also have that conversation that you can't just take via whenever you want. Anybody who's new who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours and, uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us. Hear some Reddit stories and let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Later.